So this is the Panasonic AG HMC 71E. Uh, there's the power switch. Let's put that into record mode. Um, we've got a viewfinder. Uh, a pop out uh, electronic viewfinder. Uh, there's the lens, there's no manual focus rings at the front, it's pretty easy. Um, they've got various in two inputs, XLR inputs for audio. And a camera battery goes in there, and you've got a SD card slot there. No tape on this model. And so here we are in auto mode. If we put it into manual. Get various options that pop up on the display. Um, I'm just going to put it into manual focus, and then we can see that there's manual focus box has just appeared just here. Okay, so with the manual focus on, it means that we can go over here, zoom in on this chair. It's in focus, the radio is out of focus, so if I just press this push auto button here, just for a second it turns the camera in, so that way you can only just see here, but it's, it's focusing basically on kind of the dirt on well, my fingernails, but also dirt on the radiator. Um, so that's how we're going to kind of lock the focus and then every now and again if we have to press the push auto just to bring it back into focus there's other manual modes here um, so all you can see on this three way controller on here there is an option to press the down button and so we're going to go to white balance you'll notice that um, if I'm going to zoom in on some white, so we're going to zoom right in. This basically tells the camera what colour white it should be. So I've kind of zoomed in on some white here. I'm going to press the up arrow on here, and it's going to just give me various options. I'm just going to press this one, and so we can kind of choose ones that we set earlier. But in this one here, it gives me the option to. Press this rather interesting little button that appears at the top. Let's press on that one, and the camera just readjusts itself so that it knows that that's the colour white from now on. Um, it seems to save that recording, that setting. So if I zoom back into the chair, we should notice that it's gone out of focus again because it's a different uh, length from the camera. If I'm going to press the push auto button, uh, it just brings it into sharp focus and now I can zoom out again and I'd know that the person talking at the chair would be in, in focus so that's uh, so we've looked at autofocus so far we've looked at white balance what other things might we want to do well we might want to um, set the exposure as well so the way that we do that uh, press the back button and we'll go to uh, shutter just about to see that this is a four way control here Shutter, and we can um, increase or decrease the shutter speed as needed. If you press back out, it seems to save these settings if you turn off the power. Um, I'm not totally convinced that if you go from auto back to it, it'll, it'll keep the settings. Let's have a look. So, if I deliberately tell it to um, tell it that this is the colour white to be a bit nasty to it this is the brown table is the colour white so I'm going to go to the top one and I'm just going to tell it that's the colour white from now on does that work? yes it's got a horrible colour of grey so if I zoom out now it's going to make the whole room look really blue in this case um, so if I go to auto again let's see if it remembers it I know that if I turn it off let's just show you that Now turn it on again. Oh, 
Hopefully it'll still be horrible blue. Yes, it is. That's because we've kept it in manual mode. On where is it? On this selector here. But if I now um, go to auto, let's see if it keeps. So there we are in auto. It's worked it all out for itself. Might be good enough to leave it in auto, but if I want to make you do a presentation, if I go back to manual, you can see that it's kind of based all its settings back off the auto, so it doesn't remember if you go from auto back to manual again. Um, next up, I'm going to look at the audio. So we've got audio inputs at the back here. Now, I believe it only calls to two audio channels. Ideally, I would have it so that um, one of my audio, ideally on a camera as I've had in the past, has four audio channels. So that means I can record uh, stereo from the front mic and then also external here. I've had to use that before on HDV. I've had to lower the quality of the audio, but it has worked. Whereas here, I think you've only got two channels, so I'm going to have to set it so that the I set it to the audio one, channel one is set to the front microphone and then channel two would be rear, so I'll have a uh, lapel mic plugged into that one uh, there, or if I've got two people on stage and I might have two lapel mics going into the back and have that set to rear. Um, there's three different recording modes on it as well, um, which you can go through via the menu. And let me just go to, just again, sorry the camera phone is not picking this up. Basic, I've got basic video, so I go into here, I've got recording mode, the three different modes HF, I don't know what it sounds for, but basically it's high quality, and there's medium, and there's low. So, at high quality, I can get about 80 minutes on an 8 gigabyte card, so I can't get an awful lot. Um, so, for a presentation, I'm gonna have to probably drop it down to the bottom one to get, I think it's 180 minutes on an 8 gigabyte card. Um, I'm going to get home and see what the quality of those differences are like, but that probably do for me. Um, for this presentation I've got to record in a few days time. That's about it really. There's a place at the back to put the headphones in, so that I'll be using them. A place at the top to put your wireless mic if you've got one. Receiver. Um, it's a big, big old camera actually. I think it's probably a bit too big. I mean it hasn't got any manual focus wheels or zoom, which is a bit of crappy. Um, to be honest with you, there's quite a lot to it, and it doesn't probably need to be this big. Well, it's probably just to make it look a bit more sturdy, I should think. But the electronics probably going to take a very small space in it, I would have thought. Um, well, there's an external mic there. Um, that's about it, really.